how are you ladies and gentlemen hope you are well your teacher here is doing well this is physics science one with me is a question that is coming from 2018 grade 12 this was section b and it was question b8 the question figure below shows a circuit diagram with a lamp connected to a 12 volt battery so we have the figure here and we also have questions the first part calculate the charge passing through the battery in two minutes we also have b how much energy is transferred by the battery c says calculate the resistance of the lamp the question, ladies and gentlemen, is coming from a topic called current electricity. We have a circuit diagram here connected to a 12 volt battery. And you can see the flow of current 0 0.5 amps or ampere. We also have the lamp here, which is connected. The first part says calculate the charge passing through the battery in two minutes. Well, we have to understand the meaning of the charge. Charge is the amount of electricity that can either be positive or negative. Charge has a formula. Do you still remember? Charge is represented by Q which is equal to current multiplied by time so don't forget charge is always equal to current times time we are now going to substitute and time must be in seconds so when we substitute this, we're going to get charge will be equal to, Q is for charge, which will be equal to current, we are told that it is 0 0.5. So put 0 0.5 here, amps multiplied by time. In the question, it says calculate the charge passing through the battery in two minutes. But in physics, I must tell you that you have to be very careful with the units, the symbols. Okay, so you have to understand the best units and derived units. These will give you the correct SI units. As you are doing your calculations in physics, you have to take note of that. So time here must be in seconds. What we are given is in minutes so you are going to change minutes to seconds we always say 60 seconds is always equal to one minute one minute now since we are changing two minutes we are going to say two minutes is equal to x then we are going to cross multiply x times one is x is equal to 60 times 2 is 120 so we have 120 seconds 120 seconds so where there is two minutes we are substituting with 120 because time must be in seconds so we're multiplying by 120 seconds if you go on and substitute two minutes here you're going to get a wrong answer that will not be accepted so we're going to say charge will be equal to, you can now get your calculator and do the multiplication. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 120, you're going to get 60. So 60. Remember the units for charge? Columns. Capital letter C. Columns. This is the correct answer. We have B. How much energy is transferred by the battery? Energy has a formula as well. So we're going to represent it with E. Going to say energy 
is always equal to voltage multiplied by charge. So energy is always equal to voltage multiplied by charge. Or you can still say energy is equal to, can still say energy is equal to voltage multiplied by current multiplied by time. It all depends with what you have been given. There are times when they can ask you to find energy, but you are not given charge. They'll give you these components. So meaning, you have to use that. Remember, IT represents charge. So we are going to say, energy is equal to voltage. Let's check the question. It says 12 volts. So we're going to write 12 volts there, multiply by charge. We've calculated charge here, 60, 60 columns. So we are now going to say energy will be equal to, we are going to multiply 12 times 60, and this will give us 720. So 720. The correct units that you are going to put for this energy will be joules, capital letter J. That is the final answer. C. Calculate the resistance of the lamp. What are we asked to calculate? Resistance. Now, according to the Ohm's law, Ohm's law, according to this law, resistance, resistance is always equal to voltage divided by current. This is Ohm's law. We are now going to do the substitution there. Resistance will be equal to voltage. We are told that it is 12 volts. So 12 volts over current 0 0.5. Right? Current 0 0.5. So substitute here 0 0.5 amps. When we divide the two, we are going to get 12 divided by 0 0.5. The answer is 24. So we're going to get 24. But what would be the correct unit for resistance? It is ohms, abbreviated with this letter, ohms. You underline. That is the correct answer. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it.